Most of us are familiar with the story of Nicodemus coming to Jesus at night, as recorded in John chapter 3. And the Lord Jesus shocked Nicodemus when he told him, you must be born again. And there was a lot of pushback to this. Nicodemus quite liked his life, I think, and he wasn't too eager to have everything change. And he realized that being born again would mean a whole new kind of life. And uh, the proof of that is that we see Nicodemus in little glimpses throughout the Gospels where he's meeting with the Sanhedrin, the Jewish high court, and he sort of steps halfway into the light out of the shadows, and he says, "Um, wait a minute, we don't uh, condemn a man without hearing him, do we? But Nicodemus eventually steps fully into the light at the cross when he, with Joseph of Arimathea, reaches up and touches the dead body of the Lord Jesus. And by that, he disqualified himself from participating in their high and holy day, the Passover. He would be ceremonially disqualified. But he had realized, wait a minute, this is what Jesus was talking about in John 3. The Son of Man was being lifted up as the Lamb of God. I have my Passover Lamb and I don't need the Jewish ritual anymore. And so he was very confused. He asked lots of questions. Do I have to enter back into my mother's womb? (laughs) And Jesus said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. As we would say today, garbage in, garbage out. Uh, You just um, recycle. You come back just as stupid as you were the first time and just as sinful. And that's not going to fix the problem. You need a whole new kind of life what Jesus called anothen, born from above life, the very life of God. Well, I met a a brother uh, that I didn't know I had on uh, last Tuesday. I was visiting prison, and uh, a young man there that I hadn't seen before, his name is Thomas, they call him Tomcat, and uh, I said to him, Thomas, tell me your story. Well, he said, I was uh, born in Meridian, Mississippi, and uh, that's where I was raised, and never had any contact with the gospel, never had a Bible in his hand. And um, eventually he ended up in prison. And he said, you know, the thing that bothered me was that from my earliest days as a little child, I was told, you'll never change, just like your father. You know, this idea that he was stuck in this personality type that he was. And he said, I hated it, but I I thought, this is it. This is me. I'm fated to be like this for the rest of my life. Well, he said, I love to read. And uh, one day, one of these field ministers saw me and said, you sure like to read. Why don't you read something worthwhile? And gave him a copy of the Bible. The first time he'd held the Bible in his hands. And so he began to read as you would any other book, at page one. And he read all the way through until he got to John chapter three. There was no pushback here. There was utter amazement that Jesus was saying to Tom, you don't have to be like that. You can be transformed. You can have a whole new life. You can be born again. And he took God up on the offer, and he was born again, a new creature. And so, no surprise when I asked him, now, what what do you feel is the main message you want to share with your life? He said, well, 2 Corinthians 5.17, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And he said, what I want to get a hold of is what does it fully mean to be in Christ? Well, you can't do any better than that. There's the heart of the gospel, born again. And there's the heart of Christian living in Christ. And those four words encapsulate everything that God has offered us. 
And, you know, I just was so thrilled to hear it. It was like a refresher in, in the gospel proclamation and in the principles of Christian living in four words. Born again in Christ. I thank God for Tomcat and for having him as my brother in the Lord, for his glorious transformation and for his heart. Pray for him as he seeks to be a witness in that place for the glory of God, that multitudes of others, everyone there, in fact, would be born from above through the power of God and by the gracious work of the Holy Spirit. Christ in you, not only you in Christ, but Christ in you. And may the Lord help us all to take this message with us everywhere we go. You don't have to be the same. You don't have to be locked in to your old way of life. You can be a new creature in the Lord Jesus.